you got a okay. question. No, Wait, I gotta get out the frame. I gotta get out the frame. Why can't we get out the frame? Okay, I'm here with. Okay. <laughs> Aida. Okay, truth or dare? Dare. Get away from her. Get away from her. No. Get up, you I would love a relationship mm -hmm. that um, makes my life better than it is. I have no interest in just being in a relationship to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I could have a wheel of lovers. You complaining about not cooking, but it's like I'm not cooking because I'm working 12 hours okay, a day. Okay, so, so if you want to be taken on a date, you want to still be romantic. After we work long hours too, we supposed to just say, okay, we was busy and we had a long day? What? No, it doesn't work that way. That's not the same way. thing. Yes, it is. That is not the same it thing. It's very similar. I'm giving you, I'm telling you what I need from you, and you aren't providing it because you're too tired or you work long That's hours. That's a big deal, though. Like, you want somebody to physically be in the mood to have sex. Going out to eat with somebody and going on a date after work versus being like, oh, I'm in the mood to have sex with this man after I've worked 12 hours a day and got the kids in bed are two different asks of somebody. So I think this Like, think those this are two the, different levels of what you're requiring. This is difference between men and women. If you're my woman, I'm always in the mood to That's have sex That's because that's how y'all are wired. It don't matter if I'm tired. Y'all could be if. depressed and want to have sex. Y'all be because, broken and want to have sex. Like, y'all are going to be horny. You're my woman. That's not going to change. If you have money as a man, you're going to get the women that you want. No, but you make it seem like it's just easy to have yeah, money. Like what it, it's rugged. not, but y'all either can get some height or y'all can get some money. Which you can't just do? get height. Okay, what the f*** am I listening to, AG? What the f*** am I listening to? What the f*** am I listening to? Get what am hype. I listening to? You, you can't hype. just get hype. What the f*** are we saying? You are literally talking about things that you cannot get. Did she believe <laughs> niggas was like when they were 12? Nah, I'm gonna stop at 5'7". <laughs> and I'm good at 5'7". That's not how it went. Woman who was undercover as a male for a year, part two. Nora reports that her personal project instead became a personal nightmare. In the dating portion, where she dated over 30 women, she said, and I quote, she was on the receiving end of women's boring, self-pitying monologues and endless tirades about what bastards men are. And all of her dates suspect that she, at, at the time he, is as bad as the rest of them. Nora previously believed that by being a male, she was gonna live a life of entitlement. And she quickly found out that men have a lot of their own unpleasant codes. Don't hold gaze for too long. Don't be too enthusiastic about anything. Don't be too unapologetic. Never show weakness. Nora found that instead of being a man as powerful and dominating, as exhaustive and depressing, she was on the verge of a nervous breakdown. But the majority of men are, are good men. Oh, it's a very yeah. small percentage of men that are sleeping with all the women. Mm -hmm. If you want a guy that's over six foot, that's 15% of men. You want him to be cute, cut that in half. You want him to make money, cut that in half. It's a very small percentage of men that are sleeping with all the girls. Every girl has a guy in their friend zone that would treat them well, right. and they know would treat them well, and they know likes them. And it's like, we don't pick them. And then we're gonna cry because the guy we picked is bad to us, but you, you could have picked the guy in the friend zone. Average couple out here is not millionaires. They are making their work on an income of about $67,000 a year. So we gotta stop this cap, stop this fake notion that everybody is out here making a lot of money and the expectations are through the roof. We need to get back to reality. And if you wanna be a mother, you wanna be a father, you wanna raise children, then you have to live within that reality. And not for nothing, Lisa Ray is 50 some years old. And I checked her background. She was married two times and neither one of them lasted as long as a car lease. So she's not really the person to tell anybody about what a man needs to be doing as far as paying 100% of the bills just because she's having sex with him. Because most people don't want her. They wanted the one that was in players ball, okay? So with that being said, brothers, remember that worth and value are two different things. Sisters, remember, worth and value are two different things. Worth is... I think that there is not a war against women. I think the war is against men. And I think the problem is that we are not waging a war against women. I think that women are the author of most of the problems in the society. I think that women's liberation... Um, starting a couple hundred years ago is the beginning of the end of Western civilization. I think that women being educated, women going into the workforce, I think that women uh, raising young men, I think that prostitutes running our country and women being elevated through affirmative action, I think it's completely wrecking the country. And um, 
basically every way. I think that women essentially have kind of two trajectories in life. They can be mothers and prostitutes. I think that's those are really the main tracks throughout history that women become. Um, they're really defined by their sexuality as opposed to men. Men are sort of intermittently sexual. Women are thoroughly sexual. They're defined by that relationship with men. And so I think they can either do that within the binds of marriage and do that being a mother and having children, or they could do that selling their sexuality in some way, which is kind of what they do all the time in the modern society. And we don't think of it always that way, but uh, if you look at it, that's kind of what they're doing. So I would say that there's not a war against women. Women are being elevated. And we talked about this in the last one. I think Alex Stein and uh, Doobie and uh, our girl Stardust were there for that one. I think the war is against men. And that's really the problem. The war should be against women and sort of reducing their role in society back to, I think, their biological disposition, which is to be uh, mothers and homemakers. So uh, so that's my position. But I recognize that's probably not the position of anybody else on our side. But that's my position. Man, you got to be a strong minded nigga when you got a bad bitch. Because then you got to worry about what she wearing outside and shit. Motherfucker get all this attention and shit. See me? I ain't worried about all this shit, because you know why? I'm coming with you. I don't give a fuck if you going out with your homegirl. Fuck your homegirl. Because I'm going to be right there beside your ass, ready to knock a nigga out on God. I wanna go home. I wanna go Tell me, what did you care about in your 20s that you don't care about anymore? Everything. Literally everything. Nothing matters. I don't care about a goddamn thing. Uh, we've all been lied to our whole lives. Everything is a bunch of bullshit and we're fucked. I'm here at Restoration Hardware with my baby daddy. And I was just thinking like, wow, I made a really beautiful life by being a home. 